When I was a kid, I believed that manta rays lived at the foot of my bed. For years, I slept in a tiny ball because I was convinced that if I stretched my legs out that I would touch the manta rays. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had an imaginary friend. They were three mice. I think they were like this big. They looked like real mice. They didn't look like a cartoon or anything like that, except they all wore shirts. But I was just thinking recently, like, when did I lose my mice? Where did I leave them? Are they still in Sacramento? Where do all the invisible friends go? Hmm. I've always been interested in words and language and how words were created. And I was so young, I didn't really have a deep understanding of much of anything because I thought that Abraham Lincoln invented all of the words and that he was with a group of people and they just would walk around town and be like, what do you think that is? And he'd be like, mm, I'm gonna say an electricity line. And they'd be like, okay, got it. And they just write it down. And those are the words that we have today. <laughs> My parents would describe me as the WB frog. You know, that frog that like, when no one's looking is like, hello, my baby. And then like, when someone shows up, it's just like a normal frog. That was me as a kid. Like if I was just with my parents, I was just like larger than life character. But anytime a family friend would come over, I would just completely clam up. When I was a kid, I don't think that I thought that I had superpowers, but I really wanted them. And I remember Matilda had come out and she basically can move stuff with her mind. And I was pretty convinced that if I tried hard enough that I could do that too. Because I, you know, of course, if Matilda can do it, then I can do it. I must have thought that movies and television were real. I'd watch movies and then recreate them. I'd watch Little Mermaid and I'd pretend the end of the couch was that big rock and I could like go like this, like Ariel did. You know, now I definitely know the difference. Just to be clear, I've like grown up a lot, I get it. But I think it's like the best parts of me and it's the part of me that makes me good at my job but I can suspend my disbelief. But like, I've had major, major glitches. I once asked someone, I was like, wait, yeah, what year was it when there was dragons? And they were like, no, no. That's not, that's not a thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching and check out my film Unicorn Store on Netflix.